the Suns deal the Denver Nuggets a 25-point playoff loss. And you got to tip your hat to the Suns. I mean, they shot 47% from the field. They shot 40-something percent from the three. They hit 18 threes. They really gave them the business. And it's funny because they always say the same thing that makes you laugh and make you cry. So, like, the same emotions that have the sons laughing and the crowd has them riled up and guys like Mikel, like, some of these guys, like, unsung heroes that are hitting shots and doing their thing, bench guys, role guys, hitting major threes, hitting crazy shots. That same energy they have is the same energy that's making the Denver Nuggets cry right now because the Denver Nuggets don't feel that wave of positive emotion. And that's kind of the thing when you get to teams that have never been to the pinnacle of, you know, multiple playoffs and stuff like that. Like Michael Porter Jr. got a taste of that. But in terms of, like, all the other guys, Compazzo, Howard, a lot, a lot of guys on that Denver Nuggets team, while it's, like Millsap has experience, Joker, Joker has experience, a lot of them don't necessarily have that experience of going to, like, a hostile environment consistently being able to perform. And that emotion, that riding that wave, is what basically made the De Denver Nuggets quit. By all accounts, the Denver Nuggets quit in that situation they did not bring their a game and once that they saw that hey we're down big the emotions got the best of them and they they were beaten into submission by the phoenix suns so you got to credit the suns for playing their crowd basically serving as like a six man on the court but a lot of it too is Denver nuggets they're just not competing and I want to say this. Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when OKC went to the finals with Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, and James Harden. And Scott Brooks was like, hey, you know, nothing to hang your head high about. They're just a better team. They outplayed us. When really it was just like the emotions of the finals got to the got to Harden. And it didn't much get to KD, but in certain instances in terms of the turnovers it did, Russell Westbrook was riding a wave of emotion, and that caused him to play out of character. So so much to the point where Magic Johnson said, this is one of the worst playoff games I've ever seen by a point guard. What Magic was talking about was like the setup, setting up your teammates, running the plays. Instead of just going for 43 and almost having a quadruple double with turnovers, it's like all the setups. And that's basically what's, going, what's happening to the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets right now, they're not believing in their game plan. They don't have a consistent game plan, especially – because they rely so much on Jamal Murray to create a lot of their offense and Joker to create a lot of their offense. Now, when, when Joker has like 24 points, it's like you can't compete. And you look at the Suns, every, almost everybody was in double figures. When you look at the Denver Nuggets, guys like Composite, who was playing 29 minutes, is only giving you three to six points. You know what I'm saying? Aaron Gordon, a star, a, a, well, you know there's like levels to being a star, but a, a star in this league or a a serviceable player in this league, he gets into it with his guys in the locker room, and he's giving you six on the court. You have starters that are giving you bench points. Meanwhile, you got guys like Paul Millsap, the kid Howard, that was in the last series. He was hitting a lot of threes. He had a lot of energy. He's not getting a lot of burn. And that's something that really Mike Malone has to look at. See, because the thing is, it's like I can understand if a team beats you. Beating you into submission should never happen, though. It shouldn't be a situation where they basically had more energy and outgusted out you. It shouldn't be a situation where, yeah, we, we lost by 15, 10, 7, but we were going hard. We're in this game, or we're down 20. But let's, let's see if we can find something in the last five, six, seven minutes that we could carry over into the next game. We've seen this in so many series where star players are staying in the blowout and they'll get something going or a bench or role player will get something going in a blowout that they a blowout loss. And then the next game it carries over. And even though people say these games are each their own entity, that is true. But sometimes you can find something, a play that works, a mismatch that works. And with Mike Malone, you're not seeing him even trying to attempt that. So yes, you can be outplayed, but sometimes when you get out coached, that causes the the troops. When a general does not a great tactician. 
and doesn't make in-game adjustments, that causes the troops to give up and basically die right there on the court. And that's what happened to the Denver Nuggets. Mike Malone is not making those consistent good adjustments that can keep them in the series so thus far in these past two games. And meanwhile, the Suns are making adjustments. They're um, killing them with their pick and roll. They're sticking to what works. They're attacking mismatches. Chris Paul is getting all these pick and rolls, but he's not even contesting his jump shot, which makes absolutely no sense. And that was the sign that they quit. So these guys, these young teams, and you know these new players, these new stars, and everything that's coming into the role, because you know you got Joker, got Trey Young, got all these other guys. One thing they have to really study history is you cannot quit in a playoff game. Anything can happen. Things can turn. Guys can get comfortable. You know, growing up, how many playoff games you saw Kobe and Shaq down 20, came back and won the game? You know what I'm saying? You, you just cannot do that. And the fact that they did that just makes me, helps us understand that they just don't know, they don't understand what's at stake yet until they get bounced. Who's Junction? Who's me, Super? Like, comment, subscribe.